Well, Abba Edetau is heading down south to Clemson this week, and uh, Abba will get into this game and this environment in a second, but it, it felt like you got your personal game back on track this week, did, or last week. Did you notice it opening back up for you and you had the big, really game-winning touchdown against BC? Yeah, I mean, I saw a lot of opportunities early on. They were trying to double-team, but, you know, we caught them out of that little, um, later in the game, so I just tried to take advantage of that. I think we all kept wondering through the first four or five weeks of the season as you kept having crazy games, when was the defense going to slide to you? And maybe finally with Wake Forest and after that it did. Have you noticed it opening back up now a little bit now that everyone else has gotten involved? I mean, with the, with the way everybody's playing, I don't think they can double team too much because, you know, you got Ish on the outside, Briz and Herb, you know, everybody's dangerous. So you double team one guy's going to leave another guy open. So it kind of shifted away from that later on in the season. Does this feel more like what you all thought before the season of what this offense was supposed to look like? Oh, yeah, definitely. I feel like we still got a lot of, a lot of work to work on. So a lot of room for improvement. So we're just trying to work every day towards it. But this is definitely the direction that we thought it would be going in. How fun is it in the wide receiver room right now? Because you mentioned it. Between the four of you guys, one or two or three of you having big games every week. And on each play, you don't even know who it would be. How much fun are you guys having really competing amongst yourselves right now? I mean, it's fun. There's a lot of a lot of different personalities. There. Again, with Coach McLeod and Coach Samson, they bring a lot of energy. It's fun in there, you know. Everybody's themselves. You can be yourself. There's no fabricating anything. So it's just fun being around those guys. All right. How well is Eric Dungy playing for you all right now? I mean, Eric's the man. He just, you know, he gives us opportunities, throws the ball, runs the ball, doing everything that he can ask for. This is uh, a big week in that here you are coming off a bye week in Clemson sitting out there. But first off, how much did the bye help you guys? Because you're eight games in, probably everyone needed a little breather, and you got the week off. What did you guys accomplish during the week? I mean, playing Clemson in the bye week is perfect time. You know, they're one of the top teams in the nation, so we've got an opportunity to get a little extra film on them, rest our bodies a little bit, get our minds back, focus. So it was a good time off. You have probably went to Clemson at a younger age than most everyone on this team because your older brother, Etta, uh, played there for a, a little bit. What, what was the experience like for young Amba down in Death Valley? I mean, at the time, that was my first time experiencing something like that. So it was a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm. So it was just fun being around, just fun being a part of it. Did you ever imagine then that you get to go back there as a player? Oh, definitely. When I was young, I, I knew I'd be back at the spot. Maybe not exactly Clemson, but I know I'll get an opportunity to play in front of a crowd like that. All right. And, and you've played in front of some big crowds this season. What is different? about Clemson than some of these other places? I mean, other than their rank, you know, the top of the nation, they have a good defense. You know, they fly around, they play hard. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a good test. You know, it's fun to play against opponents like this. Being the top team in the nation, that's what you want. That's what you sign up for. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's officially the first top 10 team you'll play against this season. While they're ranked in the top 10, we know what Louisville's gone on to. We know Florida State's hanging out there. What has what the experience of those previous games done to set you up against one of these top teams in the country? Um, it just kind of creates a stage for us that we belong. That you know, maybe we didn't come out victorious in the last couple of tries, but you know, we showed some 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 fight, some will. But hopefully, this game, or well, definitely this game, that we got to turn that into you know points and turnovers on defense and things like that will give us the opportunity to win. At two and four, I don't know if we were really thinking bowl game. Now at four and four, it's it's a reasonable path to it. Are you guys talking about that in the team right now? Um, with the bowl game, we're just trying to take that one game at a time. That's how we've done it the last two weeks. Let's put it in a better position to even you know discuss it right now. But you know. We got Clemson on Saturday, so, you know, if we win that game, it puts us even closer. So that's the that's the focus right now. All right, lastly, on, but what do you think this experience will be like? Because it's on the road, crazy environment, number three, national TV. What do you think that's all going to be like? I think this could be a program-changing experience. You know, it's just our team versus, what, 80,000? So we're going to have to stick together, you know, fight for the man to the left and the right for you, the guys on the sideline, the guys at home we've been watching. You know, we got to stick together. So it's just, it's just us, us versus all of them. So it's going to be a great experience.